Ahoy there! You must be new here. It's me, Shelly. I'm part of a school called the Finder Fish. As you can see, my submarine is shaped like a fish. It helps me swim around with some of my best fishy friends. We Finder Fish follow our friend, Sandy Shirk, who leads us on great adventures to help other fishy friends who are in trouble. Anyone can be a Finder Fish, so I came up to the surface to look for some sea creatures, just like you, to join us on today's adventure. Would any of you like to be a finder fish with me? Yes! <laughs> well, bubbling bubbles, you're all going to be great finder fish. I can't wait for you to meet Sandy Shark. He's the friendliest shark you will ever meet, and he leads us on great adventures. We better dive in and find out what he has for us today. As I dive down deep, I like to sing a song along the way. Now, stand up, dive in, and follow along with me. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Let's dive into the deep blue sea. Look around, what do you see? Jellyfish swimming near me. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Let's dive into the deep blue sea. Look around, what do you see? I see a seahorse swimming near me. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Let's dive into the deep blue sea. Look around, what do you see? I see a baby shark swimming near me. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Let's dive into the deep blue sea. Look around, what do you see? Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Let's dive into the deep blue sea. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Let's dive into the deep blue sea. That was fantastic. You can go ahead and rest your gills by taking a seat. Soon, Sandy Shark will be along to take us on a fish-finding adventure. But before he gets here, you need to know the two rules of being a finder fish. My friend Ray is the best at telling us the rules. And here he comes now. Okay, hello there, finder fish. I'm Ray, and here are the rules. Now, rule number one is to be kind. Everyone hold up one fin, that's it, raise them up, and let me hear you say, be kind. Be kind. Now remember, you can be kind by listening to everyone you meet. So if you can be kind by listening, give your listening ears a click with your fins and say, click, click. Click, click. Perfect. All right, now. Rule number two is to be safe. All right, so let me see you hold up two fins this time, okay? And say, be safe. Be safe. That's it, great. Now, as you follow along, you can be safe by keeping your fins to yourselves and staying in your spot. So how about this, if you can be safe let me see you give your fins a clap and then rest them in your lap. Ha <laughs> ha! Have a good time! So long! You look fantastic! Following Ray's rules are sure to help us on our next adventure. Speaking of adventures, here comes a message in a bubble. Sandy Shark sends us these when he's coming to take us on a great adventure. Ahoy there, finder fish! Our jellyfish friend Peanut ran away from home because he did something wrong. Now he is stuck in the seaweed forest and doesn't know what to do. We need to find Peanut and help him get back home safely. Here I come! Just follow me for an adventure through the sea. I'm 
so glad you all decided to join me on today's adventure. As you follow along, I have a story to tell you from God's Word. Do you finder fish know what God's Word is? The Bible! That's right. To help you see this story from the Bible, you better put on your special story goggles. Zoop, zoop. Now you're ready. Peter was one of Jesus' closest friends. They were together all the time. So when Jesus was arrested and taken to another town, Peter followed close behind. When they arrived at the place where they were holding Jesus, a servant asked Peter, Are you one of Jesus' disciples? Peter said that he did not know Jesus. Peter was scared that people would be mean to him and hurt him, just like they had done to Jesus. Peter didn't just lie about knowing Jesus one time, he lied three times. Peter knew that what he had done was wrong, and it made him feel very sad. After Jesus died and came back to life, he had breakfast with Peter on the beach. Peter was scared that Jesus would be mad at him for the wrong things he had done. But Jesus forgave him, and Peter started telling everyone the truth about being friends with Jesus. Just like Peter, we all do wrong things. But when we get to know Jesus, we learn how special he is. Even when we do wrong things, he still loves us and wants to forgive us. That's just one of the things we can know about Jesus. We can get to know Jesus by coming to church, reading stories about him in the Bible, and praying to him. When we know Jesus, we will know what he wants us to do. So here's what you need to know today, Finder Fish. Everybody say this after me. No. No. Jesus. Jesus. And that's exactly what Peanut needs to hear when we get to the seaweed forest. Stay close, we're almost there. Oh look, we found Peanut. He looks so scared. Let's tell him what we learned today so that he can trust Jesus. Then maybe he'll follow us and we can help him get back home safely. Find your fish. On the count of three bubbles, let's tell Peanut what we learned today. Ready? One bubble, two bubbles, three bubbles. Get to know. Get to know. know. Jesus. Jesus. Hi, Finder Fish. I'm so glad you found me. But how can I know Jesus? Finder Fish, our friend needs some help. There are some questions that are sure to help us all know how to follow Jesus. Let's see if we can answer them. Can Peanut get to know Jesus by reading about him on a cereal box or in the Bible? The Bible! Peanut, you and all the rest of us can get to know Jesus by reading stories about him in the Bible. Then we'll know what he wants us to do. I have one last question for you. Can we get to know Jesus by praying? Yes! That's right! Peanut, talking to Jesus will help you get to know him better. When we're afraid or worried about something, we just ask Jesus to help. Let's talk to him now. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. Please help us. Please help us. Amen. Amen. Yippee! Thank you, Finder Fish. You're welcome. Sandy Shark, lead us where we need to go. Let's all stand up and sing a song as we follow along. Come follow me, Mark 1. 
Abby could help. And that was fantastic singing. You can sit back down and rest your sea legs. That song reminds me of a verse in the Bible. It goes like this. Just repeat after me. Jesus said, Jesus said, Come follow me. Come follow me. Mark 1, verse 17. Mark 1, verse 17. And that's exactly what we learned today. I better get you back to the shore. But before we go, I think some of our fishy friends want to have a race on the way up. Swim along and cheer for the fishy you want to win. Now we've made it ashore. Until I see you again, remember that you and I can get to know Jesus. See you later. <laughs> <laughs>